So I'm embroidering this onto the pet net. It's cotton. I'm not too thrilled about cotton. But I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to cut it down the line and I'm going to put both of these on either side of the door. You can kind of see the difference. I'm reinforcing the thickness of this compared to this. I still got to do and I still got to write YouTube. But I'm like, maybe I could do some advertising on my car. See what uh, see if that changes the subscriber counts. All right, I put up uh, the front door screen here, and I'm gonna sew this. I'm gonna just go for it. I don't know how much bad attention it's gonna get. I hope not too much. I think it looks kind of cool. So, hi, I'm Jasper. Okay, my hands are full. What's the deal? I don't know. I just wanted to introduce myself, man. All right. Well, it's a public library. You can do that. Yeah, yeah, they, they do. Is there... I'm being nice. I, you smell I, like... Are you drinking? Are you drinking some alcohol? Uh, that, yeah. Okay. Maybe that, that might be influencing your, your behavior, okay? Um, you know, just, just consider that. All right. Yes. Yeah, you're just, right. You know, it's no big deal. I just come here to use the internet, and then I'm gonna leave. So. Okay. All right. So I'm hey, good. Man. So did I. So did All you. right. So this is the Civic Center. He's on the very top floor. He's been doing that for a couple hours, I think. There's a guitar and a and a drum, two guys. Yeah, I think they're they're just practicing. What is that wine? That wine is getting a little worse. Well, I gotta admit, I'm a little scared to go to Centennial. I keep thinking, maybe I should just stay in Laramie for another day. But I'm so bored, I'm kind of bored of the place. There's really nothing new that I'm, I'm excited to explore around here. Some of the most basic things you could do to scare yourself is just to go somewhere that you've never been. And the chances of them being hostile are pretty slim because this, this looks like a ski village. It's not, it doesn't appear to be highly developed. The library is off of a, a dirt road, but there's a ski mountain. You gotta climb the hill. It's not, it's like well below the hill. If Centennial doesn't really work out for me, the next city is like over an hour away and it doesn't look much better. And the next city after that doesn't look much better either. The elevations for weather, oh my god, they're just fantastic. It's not going to get above the mid 80s, but why, you know, why, why isn't it more developed? Probably because. It's too cold in the winter. Well, at least there's a gas station there. These are, and there's also hotels, but I'm not willing to pay any money. These are times where I wish I actually did have an RV and could, could 
could bring in more groceries well and just afford more gas in general cities in view. The town, oh, it's raining. Welcome to Centennial 30. An historic site, because it's a Centennial Depot. sign of tracks. Mountain View Hotel is historic. Oh yeah, right there. Take a right on second. 
there's an old cop car <laughs> with weeds growing around it. Ah, here? Uh, tickets. Ooh, it says it's closed. I don't know, just, just gotta park right here, I guess. All right, and there's supposed to be a gas station not far. I was thinking that maybe I could shoot my drone up off the top of my car right here, but it's just a little bit of sprinkling. I don't want any kind of sprinkling. I just have to wonder how this will uh, degrade. I suspect the wind is going to flap the, the cotton around and cause a lot of fraying. I could maybe try to put some, some kind of an oil Put uh, oil on this. That should preserve the cotton. But change that would change the color too. Right. So this library has a password. Uh, I have to wait till they open. All right. It's not sprinkling too much right now. I think I'm gonna launch straight up and down here. Or not. The rain just picked up again. Right, it's 3 p.m. and I can sit in my car and I can't, I'm not sweating. The weather is fantastic. This higher elevation really makes a big difference. If I went north to Casper, it's 92 degrees outside. So that means it'd be over 100 in my car. So every time I wanna get the drone up, I, I get this sprinkling that comes down. It's, so strange, it's, there's little sprinkles. I don't think they would kill the drone, but it could get worse. So the kind of birds I'm hearing and seeing around here are the, the noisy cricket hummingbirds and the white-bellied swallows, which I just realized this white-bellied swallows sound very very uh, different, very different from the barn swallows. I really prefer the barn swallows call. I'm a little surprised that they don't really have campgrounds out here for the summer. There's other places more popular. Free admission to the Nikki Self Historical Museum. And you can walk right on in or drive in. And they got quite a few things on display. Looks kind of neat. The wagon with the old wooden wheels. It's got a few of them. A uh, carriage house. It's the most modern carriage house I've seen. Not sure. Processes probably grains in some way. They've mowed the lawn pretty good. Not sure what this tower would be about. Schoolhouse. All kinds of craziness.
think I scared the, the swallows with my I, my drone. I, I took off with no problems. I didn't freak out. But I landed in a slightly different spot and they got scared. All right, so this is the museum inside. She's supposed to be free. It's probably why they have the windows uncovered. Okay, so the gate is closed. But I mean the walk-in, the walk-in is wide open. Right, I'm seeing a private drive sign. You know, this whole town doesn't look like they have a single walking trail anywhere. Well, I guess this cuts short my, my walk. Private, private road only for guests and stuff. Not sure what's, I think I saw a house. There's some awesome looking hills. But I don't see how any, I don't see anywhere a person can access those hills. There's just fence all over. <clears throat> well, that's the first deer I've seen out here. Yeah, I'm starting to learn this drone can get off course simply going up and down. Oochie! Okay. You okay? Alright. I stopped twice. Throwing beer in here. He's okay. There's no, yeah. I was told the sheriff is gone. He doesn't, he does, the sheriff doesn't come here very often. So, even though they have a, uh, I think I could park on the side of the road. Even if I could, uh, if, even if I could get kicked out, I could just pull off to the side of the road, I think. <sighs> My God, is that a, is this an actual road? I don't think it is. That's supposed to be a problem in Wisconsin too. All right, here is a break in the fence with a nice trail that might lead to the top of a hill. They do have kind of a no trespassing sign that's a little broken, but uh, they didn't close the gate. <laughs> I think they're probably more concerned about drivers than walkers. All right, the bugs really come out, especially mosquitoes. All this vegetation is pretty much Wisconsin vegetation. I've seen a couple of unique ones, like, not sure what that is. I think I want to get to the top of this hill quick, break out the drone, scan the city a little bit, 300 feet. Some birch trees over there look really pretty. Move before the mosquitoes can get me. And it said it's private property. It's a well-used trail. And I see kind of a small house. And they got a fence up here. I think I just go up to the fence, try to find somewhere to set up. They got wood up here. Maybe an old shack at one time. Or an old mining pit. Somebody tossed down their walking stick. Nope, not a mining pit. Really pretty. 
Because this spot is so flat, I think I'll take it. <laughs> I could kind of be lazy. Wow, they had a star up here. They have one for Christmas. I'll just fly above right here. <laughs> I could climb to the top. Uh, I could take the drone up too.